From the Click Cloud tab of the Configurations page, you can enable a link to switch from Talon Cloud to Click Cloud applications for all users in the domain. Once enabled, you can access Click Cloud from the navigation menu in the top bar. From the Operations page, you can export the list of all executions or specific ones to a CSV file to build reports and external tools. From the Operations page, when the Group by Plan toggle is disabled, you can see the name and the status of the plans under which this task is processed. When you enable the Group by Plan toggle, all the tasks run from a plan are now grouped and displayed under the related plan run. From the Operations page, you can perform a quick search on the name of a task or plan. You can also apply the new facets to filter the list of runs, for example the Artifact filter, the Engine filter, or the Plan filter. The new DSQL Map Editor allows you to create a map based on data shaping query language. You can create your mappings using the drag and drop feature, but you can also write DSQL expressions directly in the expression editor. Like standard maps, you can create DSQL maps to map one or multiple input files to one or multiple output files, using all the representations supported by standard maps. DSQL maps can be used in data integration jobs, big data jobs, and routes, running on the ESB runtime and remote engines. You can now launch Talon Studio with Java 17. Then, you can configure it to run data integration jobs, data service jobs, and routes with Java 17. To do this, open the Java version view in the project settings and click Enable Java 17 compatibility. A brand new checkbox, allowing you to filter data by criteria, is now available in the basic settings view of the T Workday input component in your standard jobs. Let's take this example. If you want to retrieve data of contract contingent employees from a specific time range, you'll have to add the criteria by clicking the plus button, and then enter or select from the drop-down list the name, type and value as shown here. When you want to group rows with the same name but different types, you only have to set the same group ID number. Then, only the data respecting the criteria you set will appear when you launch your job. 